Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a, an advanced ore processor. Um, this is this ore processor is not advised to build when you're starting the game. Um, it's like a mid game or end game project you should do. The space you need for it is this big so let's see it will be including industrial grinders you need four of them oh wait one second um induction furnaces you need four of them a singularity compressor an industrial blast furnace, but this one is with uh, the advanced machine casings. But you can also do it with the uh, reinforced. This, these ones, they're cheaper. And if you do the the standard ones, I don't think you can smelt aluminum in them. But okay, you will need an industrial electrolyzer and an extractor um, two ender chests of course this will be hooked up to a quarry um, you will need five aquas accumulators redstone engines and almost all the build craft pipes and hoppers of course oh and auto crafting tables um okay the industrial grinder is built like this it's like three by three standard then you have a hollow layer with eight reinforced machine casings with water in the middle then another layer of standard machine casings and the industrial grinder goes right there right there and then it should go green oh no green okay so the first thing you want to do is let me do this you want to get this this and this thing and the water bucket so where should I build it let's build it let me remove this thing So, of course, this isn't the most efficient way of building these grinders, like four of them, because the best way is to do this, to save the most resources on casings. But again, I said this is pretty much advanced, like if you're in mid or end game. So you should do... If you normally you would have like four of these, you would place them like this. That's the most cheap. This is the cheapest way. But this is it looks better and it's easier to build if you do it like that. So first things first. Let's destroy this thing. This thing again. start over here so you want to do one two three one two like this you know the standard grinder then do this that's the first grinder but you can you can share um, casings like you do this you do this you share these 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 casings 
So you do this. Of course, the water. You do this, and you place them like that. Yes. Okay. And you do it. That again. Or do this and this, and there's your grinders. Okay. Now let's see what should we do next? Hoppers. You will need hoppers. They're not too expensive. Like just some iron. Do that. And let's hook up the power first. You, when you're building this thing. You probably already have like a pretty stable power station or something that creates power. It will com consume some power. I just have like three ultimate hybrid solar panels just in case and sorry if you guys heard that in the background. So let's get some glass fiber right there Oops. Uh, let's go do this wait yeah okay um there is an easier or processor out there on the on youtube it's made by um, Grumpy LP. Maybe you, you've heard of him, so I'll put a link in the description if you want uh, a you know a, a cheaper. This one is to get maximum resources out of your things. So let's do this. connect the wires let's do this I will need an MV transformer because this is high voltage what's coming from ultimate hybrid solar panels so it should go okay good like that nothing blows up cover oh wait yeah, that's good. Cover up. And this should be filling great. Next step. I think we're going to do the water part of the grinders. Because the, the grinders, they need liquid, like water, to operate. So you can actually pump water in. And then we have these aqua accumulators so they generate water so, oh um, and you will be needing facades so wait around one two three four, five facades you can do anything or you can make any facades or you can just put the ceiling right right there like if your ceiling is like there you won't see you don't have to put that any, anything there but it's just it's just to make it nicer and you don't really see the that thing wait uh, there's my facade oh well never mind so let's do that 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 you can use any uh, waterproof pipes so use stone if you use iron though let's get iron you 
you have the these valves they are closed right now so you need a crescent hammer or an omni wrench or this wrench I think so let's try this one yes this one works so keep in mind that oh actually I don't think iron is going to work because it needs to feed in from two inputs or yeah but you can you can do it right there but you should just use stone if you don't want to use gold so let's do that and then there 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 okay oh wait the facades you can't use micro blocks here because they don't work with built craft pipes now you see this this gray thingy but when there's water going through it or just like that you don't see it anymore so that's good like that now I built like a little tank out of these covers but it's probably in the ceiling this if you're like if you live underground this is probably in your ceiling or otherwise oh you you might be able to put the tank right there but I just did it on top so I'm not going to bother building this with covers because that's just a pain in the ass well I need to actually right there why is it Cobble. Okay, weird. Ten cover. No, I need to do it like this. Ten cover. You can use any cover. Ten. A oh, ten block cover. Okay. Don't mind all the random stuff. That's for later. In my inventory. Okay. like that okay now I'm doing it anyway so and you want to make this too high because I don't think one high with water is enough to keep like the water uh, resupplied so let's get the aquas accumulators oh they're not too hard to make oh th yeah remember don't place them like this because the the front is not an output so you need to do like this or this or this yeah or do this so that is working let's do that now you want to fill this in just for now And build this one up. Come on. Oops. This will cost a lot of diamonds. Well, not too many, but like these diamond pipes. Eight of these is two diamonds, so. I think around. Six diamonds should be enough. I don't think it goes over twenty four pipes. Okay. Done. Okay, now you want to fill this in. Oh, yeah. You fill the accumulators if you do that. So that's filled. Then you break this so it's too deep. So that is making and it's pumping the lava in the grinders. So that's good. Normally you would put like cells, like water cells or a water bucket in it, or mercury cells. 
but anyways okay next is these things I guess so we'll need wooden the wooden pipes is to pump out stuff out of storage things like ender chests uh, barrels and anything so we have four engines here because one engine every time it go it hits the the wooden pipe it sucks out one item so four of these will suck four items at a time so let's do that and levers to power them redstone engines are really cheap too it's just wood and one iron and one redstone and per engine so okay where did I put this one off so here will be an engine 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 again you need a crescent hammer or an omni wrench now these won't change because they don't really have to but now there's a pipe so they can that one's good so you want the ender chest of course use the same colors as the ender chest you have at your quarry or you could link this directly up to your quarry that's pumping all the stuff with pipes but I think this is the best way so you do that that how do they do that yeah that's what now we need the diamond pipes the diamond pipes they are used to filter stuff oops like this is the black output everything goes through uh, when a silver block a galena ore or a lead ore passes this they see they need to go to black they go down in the hopper in the grinder and out and so far so wait we forgot to put levers so let's put one there there and there oops well that could work but whatever let's put that on and that and that so you see the they pump really slow but they will pump faster over time so you put in oh yeah wait I just made a mistake let's get tin blocks you can use everything but I use tin let's do that you don't need that much water actually I did the same over there as you can see so just cover this up and get rid of these covers because you can put pipes you can't put pipes on against covers so let's do this, 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 this. I use golden pipes because they just speed up the items going through. You can use everything or anything. Stone or cobblestone. But okay. Wait, did I? Yes, okay. This, this. Oh, again. Shit. How did I do this? Did I put fuss? Uh, no. Oh, I forgot to remove him. Okay. Like that, 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 and that. So I, all the items should go up. They get filtered. Like there. Yeah. They get processed. Next step, the output. You just do that. That and that, then I explained the iron pipes already. So, everything that goes in here it goes like this. But it the items you have a 50% of going 
that way or that way but I close this one so it can't go up so it will always go straight and everything that goes through there will not go to there but to there and the sandstone transport pipes they are uh, their specialty is they don't connect to m machines I had this MFE here and if I place like this it would connect to the MFE and the items had a chance of going in here so that's not good and I lost my sandstone pipe like that so let's put a sandstone pipe here any pipe there or just a transport pipe iron 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 you see this connects to the MFE too but it is closed so it doesn't affect anything you could do one here but it's unnecessary so it's a little cheaper if you want the looks you just do this but keep, just keep it like that it's easier this 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 now you want to open the gates it's always different how many times you need to click because like right here this is wait, let's, this is standard one two three it's three and here it's one two this I think it has to do with directions okay next you go sandstone there because there's an induction furnace right there and there's a hopper so you need another one okay place one there let's do that next thing is the furnaces I they are induction furnaces what they do it's an upgrade of the electric furnace what they do they heat up over time but now it's zero percent but when they are at hundred percent they go super fast they produce two item or process two items at a time and it has two outputs so nothing should get clogged up and just in case we have the hoppers right on top so I just place redstone torches there it's easier like that now let's get some glass fiber they can get up to 128 EU per tick so that's exactly the same as an MFE so let's get this wire okay nothing blowed up or blew up now let's put another one there because we need a, s oops, a singularity compressor you don't need a singularity compressor or you can just use a compressor with overclockers well no you don't really need overclockers because this is only for uranium and iridium so it's it's uh, it's just for making iridium and uranium ingots so let's get this one you can all also just use the normal one remember this thing can only handle 32 EU per tick so you need to have a transformer upgrade in it or else it will blow up and that's not good let's remove that first put a hopper get a transformer all right there let's do this it doesn't blow up now it's heating up because it's getting a wait oh I think it's getting a power through the induction furnace and then if I do this yes that's the case so you can save up a torch and right there I think yes okay good then you want to have these again knock this out shift click so if you shift click you don't enter it that's pretty well known I guess no actually 
you need these torches because you need the power the engines okay great also they don't sink but when you relock they sink I think let's yeah okay so this is getting power let's put this there now we will need a a pretty large uh, amount of or big amount of diamond pipes so let's do that how many one two three now the we have these auto crafting tables just because these grinders they get the maximum amount of resources out of your ores but they will also create tiny piles and these tiny piles you can cook them oops fuck. okay these tiny piles you can't cook them and if you have four of them you can make them in normal dust so what I do all the everything goes out of here so the the normal dust and the tiny piles the tiny piles go up and all the tiny piles we have I will uh, when when we're done with building this I can show you all everything that what needs to be in the diamond pipes all the tiny piles they get like there then they don't have a way to go because I blocked this off with something so they can go there and they will go in here and here I have iron dust uh, copper dust the tin dust silver dust why is that lead dust it needs to be tiny pile nickel and sink and they if you you have these auto crafting tables and it will go in the auto crafting tables and when there is at least two of each this engine will pump one dust out but it will always have at least one recipe in it and the recipe will or the dust will go in here it will go in this pipe it will it tells it needs to go to bla uh, black black goes in it goes there and so it's automatic so let's see gold there and why is there oh yeah sandstone because here will be auto crafting tables mm -hmm. it's kind of lame that you need a diamond pipe just for one item to filter but oh well that's the game so let's get this these are easy too it's just a crafting table and for wooden gears I think they're called okay and of course we need the wooden things to pump them out and the good thing is they automatically connect back to this main line let's put engines and I put the levers to power them right on here just to save some space. You can put them there, but that's an extra block. Okay, power them. That's done. Next thing. that is done I guess we'll build the blast furnace now this is a tricky part the blast furnace is just to smelt aluminium galena and titanium and norm normally tungsten too you can only ha smelt tungsten if you have the advanced ones if you don't want 
uh, to to the tungsten, you just use the uh, the normal or the reinforced casings, the darker ones. But I just use these because just I can, and it's creative. So the blast furnace, you should know what it is. So let's let's get these. Like that. Where? How? One, two, three, f fourth block. So one, two, three. Right there. It's. That's good. How you build this? Just like this. You do a three by three base. You will need lava bucket. You don't really need to, but the lava just adds heat. Like certain items need more heat than others. So every I think every lava thingy is 500 heat. Incomplete machine casing. Oh, whoops. It's one higher. It's four by three by three, and the the two middle things are hollow with lava, o optionally lava. But look, at, that's two point two k, and if you remove the lava, it's only one point seven. Okay, it's not five hundred. It's two fifty each, but that's still a lot, and it saves up a lot of like casing. Do that. Um, it's night time again. Okay, that. This might be a really long episode, or not episode, video. But it's a complicated thing anyway, so bear with me. This, this, power it. This is for the titanium because we will have an industrial electrolyzer there. I need to move this maybe. And the industrial electrolyzer electrolyzes the bauxite you get, and the things from the bauxite thing you get the aluminum. The aluminum aluminium it gets in here like that oh it's, it doesn't have any power yet so we need to do that too let's get MFE let's put it right there I think there is like a bug where it sucks out all the power when you place the blast furnace first but I'm not sure Okay, it's not doing it this time. That's good. Okay, that is getting power. So if you put aluminum, aluminium, ah, stupid word. It gets processed. It takes ten seconds. That's the. Th we will be doing this to get silver, extra silver, and extra lead. Okay, I think the output is on the right, yeah, we have this, 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 